welcome. The following technical support video will show you how to use the new Print From RIP application on the Multi-RIP GP direct to garment RIP software. This technical support video will show you and specifically how to run a light garment print on your direct to garment printer. First thing you want to do is you want to open up the Multi-RIP GP interface. You want to make sure that up here it says idle. If it doesn't say idle, it won't allow you to launch the print from RIP application. Go over and click on the file link and go down to create print job. This will open up the print from RIP application window. There are several predefined settings that will come with your software and you can go ahead and choose from them. The ones on the top that say black cotton refer to when you're printing white ink onto a black cotton shirt, there's white cotton. In addition, you can create your own settings and actually save them and label and name them exactly the way you want it as well. So we'll go ahead and choose to print using the 1800 version for our direct to garment printer and then we're going to run it 1440 by 720. Pretty standard ones. You can click on the printer and print area and this will allow you to choose depending on what printers you have installed. You can choose what output queue it's going, the platen that you're going to use, and as you'll tell, we, we have several platens already pre-listed in here for you. And then if you're going to do step and repeat, which is a completely different video. So most of that, when you have the presets, you can have done, it will already be done for you. The printer settings as well, white cotton, you can also choose from several other different types of media that we use and then your print resolutions. Again, all of these settings were pre-done based on our predefined settings we chose up here. We can go over now and we'll be going to look at the top two color settings tab and the artwork tab. Our artwork tab gives us the ability to position and lay out and rotate the graphic, but we need to bring in our artwork to start off with. So what we'll do is go up to the top, click on file, and go to import graphic. We can come and you'll notice in the import graphic screen that we have the ability to import a TIFF file, a JPEG file, a PSD file as well. It'll allow you to import any rasterized graphic. So we're going to go ahead and choose this porthole graphic that comes from Great Dane Graphics. And it's a PSD file. We'll go ahead and double click on it and it'll begin to bring it in. We can click on this graphic and just left click down and drag and move the graphic wherever we want. We can also grab the corners and expand the corners, changing the size of the graphic. We can click the buttons to have it centered vertical. We can center it horizontal as well. So right now the dead center of the graphic will be the dead center of our platen, based in, which is 12 and a half by 16. And notice the guidelines on the side. You can also rotate the graphic. You can rotate the graphic 90 degrees counterclockwise, clockwise if you're putting multiple graphics up for longer platens or multiple platen setups. And you can also rotate it special, which means you can rotate it whatever degree that you would like. Once we have our artwork set up, we then can go to our color settings. In the color settings, you're going to go ahead and leave your RGB and your CMYK source profiles listed for none. If you just do your own testing and determine you want to use some of the other ones, it'll pull all the ones out of your Systems32 folder that you have already pre-listed in there itself. Those are specific to your computer. The output profile you want to leave for automatic select because that will use the RIP software to determine the correct one for you. Color appearance, I recommend printing majority of the time with photo normal unless it's just pure vector graphics, big bold objects, then you can print with that. The brightness down here, if you look at the graphic on the screen and you decide you want to make it a little bit brighter, you can move the slider to the left. If you want to make it dark, you move it to the right. The key to notice is once you click the apply button, it'll then change your print preview to a little brighter of a graphic. Now, if you want to move it back to normal, what you have to do is you have to bypass the normal and go to the other side to bring it back to where you started from. It is a progressive scale on that. The 
other options that you can do if you want to preview what it looks like is go ahead down in the bottom and select your material color for previewing purposes only. This will not print this color, it'll just give us the ability. So currently right now our background is white. And let's say we want to put it onto a light gray shirt. We go ahead and put the gray and go ahead and OK. And this will show your design what it would look like on a gray shirt. Notice up at the top we just have our color layer checked. If you want to do the preview, we click on the preview and it'll show up. I like to use this feature because it helps show your customer as well that the white in the waves over here is actually going to turn a little bit gray and give them a clue as to what it would look like. So once we have everything set up, we can then turn around and just go ahead and click OK in the bottom right corner. It's now going to create the print job for us and put it into the RIP. If you look on the status message tab, you can see that it'll go ahead and tell us what ICC profile we're using. On the incoming jobs tab, you'll notice the size of the file when it was submitted. You can go to the pages of printers tab and notice that the file has already begun to spool to the printer as well. The new print from RIP application helps speed up the process of printing, especially when printing white ink. What we're going to do is let this go through. Once it goes through, you'll notice that we are ink cost calculator on the left side will come up. You're able to put in your exact ink cost into to multi rip GP to help give you an estimate of what the uh, cost of printing just that graphic would be. It does not take into account any other items. We'll go over here and click on the process jobs tab. You'll notice the job shows up here. If you ever want to preview your graph, you can either preview it from the process jobs tab or the pages of printers tab by just double clicking on the file name and it will bring up a preview for you. The other thing that I want to show you from the pages of printer is if you right click over the file name, you'll be able to preview it as a composite. You can set up a production run if you're doing the same graphic 10 times instead of ripping it 10 times. Rip it once and then run the production run and it will save time. Or you can actually export this file out and if you ever need to rerun the file, you're able to save instructions, notes, and bring it all back in without ever having to go back to the print from application. I recommend people exporting out files once they know it has been printed, just in case the customer wants to have the job reprinted later on. And this way, you know that the settings will all be the same, and as long as you have a good nozzle check on both times, you will get the same uh, looking print. That's all it takes to using the Print From RIP application from Multi-RIP GP. If you have additional questions, please visit www.multirip.com forward slash faq.html. Thanks and have a great day.